Nature vs. Nurture by Anna, Nishi, and Sheridan. Has someone ever told you you look like someone in your family? Like, hey, you've got red hair just like your mom, or you're just as tall as your dad, and ever wondered what they're talking about? Well, they are talking about genes. Genes are the molecules in our cells that contain all the information for the different traits that are passed down from your mom and dad. But now you may ask, if we get our genes from our parents, why don't we look exactly like them? There are a couple different reasons for this. For one, you get half your genes from your dad and half your genes from your mom, so you might have a mix of traits from both. But more importantly, the environment in which we grow up in also shapes how our genes are expressed. Think of it this way. Our genes are like a recipe card. Everything our cell needs to grow are the ingredients and the environment is the oven. So we know that both our genes and the environment affect our traits, but exactly how much does the environment affect us? Well, lots of scientists are asking that question, and it has become a big debate called nature versus nurture. It tries to answer this question. How much of our attributes are affected by our genetics, nature, and how much of our experience is environment, nurture? Scientists try to answer these questions using twin studies. Have you ever wondered why twins look the same? Twins can come from either one singular fertilized egg that splits in half or from two separate fertilized eggs. Twins that come from the same egg are known as identical twins. Another name for identical twins is monozygotic twins because they come from the same single fertilized egg. Twins that come from different eggs are known as fraternal twins. Why do identical twins look the same? Because identical twins come from the same fertilized egg, they each carry the exact same copies of genes, and that's why they look the same. Even though identical twins have the same genes, you may notice that they have slight differences in the way that they look. One might have darker hair, or one might be an inch taller than the other, and this is due to changes caused by the environment. Scientists were curious about what makes a bigger difference in someone's appearance, the genes in their cells or the environment they live in. To try to answer this question, they did an experiment. The scientists designed their experiment to look at weight and height of twins of all kinds. They gathered data from over 24,000 boys and girls. These boys and girls were all different ages, from babies to 19-year-olds. They were also from all over the world. To gather their data, the scientists asked the children's parents to send them the height and weight of their twins. They did this once a year for many years, and this let the scientists know how all of the twins were growing over time. After collecting all of their data, the scientists saw that genes play a very small role in weight and height at birth, but genes quickly become more important as the baby gets older. The effects of the environment seem to be the exact opposite. The environment made a big difference in height and weight at birth, but their influence got smaller over time. The scientists used these results to help answer the question we mentioned earlier. What makes a bigger difference in someone's appearance, their genes or their environment? We know that both genes and the environment make a difference in height and weight, but it matters how old the child is to really be able to choose which one makes a bigger difference at that time. The environment you're in really shapes your appearance when you're younger, and as you get older, your genes start making a bigger difference. So we have learned that both the genes and the environment play a role in what you look like. Both of these factors are known as nature and nurture. Nature consists of half the genes that you get from mom and half the genes that you get from dad. Nurture refers to the environment in which you grow up in and how that environment affects your traits.